Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we're in Donna, Texas. At a little hideaway known for really good burgers, we're at Gonzalez Burger. Down in Donna, it's not difficult to pass by this downright unassuming building in the middle of a residential neighborhood. But if you come by during the right time, at the right time of year, you'll find a hidden hamburger joint that brings in snowbirds from all over the country. I've been looking for it for five years, so I finally met the right crew and they took us here. I'm a burger man, buddy. I love burgers. This is a real good one. I feel like I'm the out of stater in this place. <laughs> Rick Cavazos helps run this joint that is wildly popular with winter Texans. People from Minnesota I just met from the Iron Range sitting right next to us. We don't have one of these in Missouri. <laughs> this is insane. I've never heard so yeah. many foreign accents in one place. Oh yeah, yeah. And we get people from all over the world. I'm not talking Spanish, I'm talking yeah. <laughs> yeah. Northern. Yeah. <laughs> it's a melting pot, you can call it. Yeah. <laughs> melting pot of the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> The popularity of this place is all thanks to the seasonal visitors who found it a few years back and have somehow kept it a secret from native Texans. Well, that is until now. You never had this burger? No. You're kidding me. No. I'm kind of disappointed y'all are here because not more people are gonna hear about it. <laughs> thanks a lot for being here. A winter Texan had had a flat tire near here, so he needed to use the phone. So he came in here and said, wow, this place is neat. What do y'all do? We sell burgers. And he said, you know what, I'll bring my friends. So once he brought his friends, everything just took off from there big time. Rick runs this restaurant with his aunts Nora and Victoria Gonzalez. But it all started with his grandparents, Enrique and Peta Gonzalez. They started this business back in the 1940s when Enrique returned from the war. He was in World War II with General Patton, the Third Army. Really? Fighting the, the Nazis and came back, started the business. He met my grandmother through my uncle, and then they started this business about 70 years ago. That's amazing. The secret to their success, sizable burgers. And not slaving away all day. In other words, don't plan a summer vacation here because Gonzalez Burgers is only open for lunch from September to May. Yeah, we work just hard enough, and then, like I said, we take, we take summers off, so. That's, that's pretty impressive. When you only have to work three hours a day. Yeah, three hours should do it. Six days a week. Yeah. Man, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Originally a grocery store and meat market, the store still has that old school South Texas flair with massive bucks hanging from the wood paneled walls, a cash only sign, and a tradition of grinding their own meat every morning. Rick really makes sure customers get their money's worth. Usually I make the patty the size of my hand. There's my hand, so <laughs> that's usually uh, the size. <laughs> when a guy is 6'5 says, the burger's as big as my hand, you know yeah, it's a big burger. Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They'll never have a burger like ours. Aunt Nora got things started on a bacon cheeseburger. And apparently, I didn't realize how big Rick's hands are. Look at this thing. It is huge. <laughs> that was a little bit of a thud. Nora keeps the home fires burning at this basic burger joint. I don't allow nobody to touch my grill. <laughs> <laughs> and she's been doing this a long time. After I finished high school, my mom gave me the, the decision and I said I want to stay here. Yeah. So in the summer of 79, I started working here. Wow, you've been here for 40 years? It's the best decision I ever made. Once the burger's done cooking, it's put on a bun with your typical toppings. That's literally a salad on that bottom bun. Uh-huh. I, I want to make sure that every every bit of it, they're going to get vegetables. This is your typical American burger. There you go. <laughs> I like that. So here we have our gargantuan Gonzalez burger, along with a gargantuan side of fries and onion rings. I know we've done big burgers, and I know we get comments about big burgers, and a lot of people always say, Shane, how do you get your mouth around that big old burger? I have no idea. But this is going to be an exercise of those skills because this thing is massive. Three quarter pounds of 80-20 beef, bacon, cheese on a five inch bun with all the toppings. Well, they do things darn big in Donna. Once I was able to bite down on this beefy burger, it's easy to see. And they also do things darn good in Donna. It's a meal from heaven. <laughs> that meat is massive with a massive amount of bacon making an amazing flavor. I was in hog heaven, so this <laughs> this is on my list. We've all seen the classic movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, but here it's a, Honey, I Blew Up the Burger. They're huge. 
I don't know if I can finish one. I used to come over here and order a burger and fries. I could never finish it. I said, you know what, I'm just gonna skip the fries and just eat the burger. Leave it to the winter Texans to find a Texas-sized burger right here under our nose. That's quite a burger, bro, I'll tell you. Well, if you're looking for a great-sized meal with a great-sized burger, coming over to Gonzalez Burger in Donna, Texas is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. It's the best in Texas, I say the whole world. Nobody makes our burgers. I go all over the country looking for a burger place. And so far, this has been the best to me.